In this video, Cresco International will demonstrate how to analyze social media topics and trends. This helps companies identify the pulse of an audience by enabling intuitive, guided data analysis of social channels. In this case, we will use the Brinker International Restaurants as an example. First, we will create a new analysis entitled Brinker International. In the topic section, we enter the restaurant brands, Chili's, Maggiano's, and On the Border. In the themes section, we look at the topic according to themes that we would like to analyze. In this case, we break the topic into two themes, food and service. We then drill through food and add keywords related to food, such as flavor and taste, to ensure we capture more comprehensive results. Similar changes have been made for the service theme. You can now specify a time interval you want to focus on. Here we focus on the past year. Selecting all four languages provided and choosing all three sources, we can now start to create the analysis. The results come from seven parts. Topics, themes, sentiment, geography, source, active authors, and demographics. In topics, we can clearly see the social media trends of each day. In the past year, 1,518 mentions on the restaurants have been detected in 1,483 documents. Overall, there are more mentions about Chili's and on the border. We can also track the daily trends of each company in the line chart here. There is a large increase about on the border after March 18, 2016. We can also zoom in on the chart to focus on a shorter time period. Next, we move to theme section. Most of the Twitter mentions are not related to food and service. We only have 44 mentions on food and 30 mentions on service out of 1,518 total mentions. People are most likely to direct comments on chilies. In the sentiment section, we notice that most of the 1,518 mentions are neutral. Chili's has the highest positive and ambivalent percentages, followed by On the Border and Maggiano's, while On the Border has the highest negative mention percentages, followed by Chili's and Maggiano's. In addition to the sentiment section, we can focus on geography, characteristics of the Twitter mentions. We can see that most mentions come from the United States. Drilling down to a lower geography level, we can see the detailed Twitter mentions of each state. Most of the mentions come from Texas and California. Next, we go to the detailed city levels, where we can see how the restaurants are discussed in each city. On the sources section, we can see what sources the mentions come from. Most of the mentions are generated from Twitter, followed by forums and reviews. These social media analytics also provide the ability to track the source of all mentions. In the active author section, the top 20 authors who generated the most content will be shown in the tree map according to the volume of the content. The deeper color indicates there are more followers of this author. Similar to the geo graphic analysis, we can focus on more details by applying filters here. Some people choose to reveal their gender, marital status, and parental status on social media sites. In the demographics section, we can see the percentage of mentions by demographics. For those who do not show their demographics on the social sites, it will be indicated as blank. While we generated visualized reports, a data set that supports those findings has also been created. We can perform filters on those data sets and the above chart will change in dynamics. This data set can be downloaded for data mining activities or loaded into other analytics tools. For more information about marketing analytics, contact Cresco today at info at or visit crescointl.com.